Sometimes, I hate being accurate. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. A couple days ago, or a week or two ago probably by now, uh, I was filming or filmed the review for a book and I said this. And so there, there's a real, there's a chasm, there's a chasm, or there should be, a chasm between those two professions when we talk about it. One of the big problems is in the last, I don't know, I'm gonna make up a number here, 50, 75 years, maybe 100 years, we've sandwiched those and we've said no we want our warriors to be police officers and we've increasingly militarized the police to the point where they don't look any different than military guys right you have SWAT teams running around in multicam with battle belts and plates and rifles and helmets and nods and all that stuff now let's be clear here i don't begrudge police officers carrying rifles in their car in fact i think that's probably a good idea and if i was a police officer you better believe i'd be going for that rifle every chance i get however what does a police officer need to wear multicam for i mean just just think about that for a minute we have multicam on soldiers because they go into environments to blend in right that's that's why we created camouflage uniforms right they go out into environments because they want to blend in and not be seen what is a police officer wearing multicam for in downtown baltimore or whatever i just picked a random city i mean really think about that what's the purpose there well the purpose is because the military units do that so you know they should do that and then uh, a couple days ago, I don't know, four or five days ago, something like that, I saw this little clip here rolling through my Twitter feed. 30th Avenue, come to the front door of the residence, open it and exit with your hands up. Failure to comply will result in the appropriate amount of force to be applied. Okay, okay. What? Right? We don't have any weapons on us, dumb fish. Oh, I want to see the search warrant. No, I want to see it now. I want to know what it says. I already called the lawyer. If you keep pointing that gun at my granddaughter, you're going to have a big problem. Put your gun away. There is a child here. I am videoing this. It is live on Facebook. There is nobody here! Shut your fucking mouth. I won't see the warrant. The agents will bring that up. We don't the what agents? There's agents that are back here. We'll call them up. You just again. broke in our house. Pulled up here like this. What the fuck? Just walk to me. It's okay, baby. Let's get her behind here. It's cold outside. Let's get her back here. We're not going anywhere with you. Hey, buddy. Will you walk to me, please? You know, the search warrant? Yes, sir. Right. No, we're no, supposed no, no, no. to see the search no, no. warrant first. Search warrant here. We're gonna go ahead and get going. Well, yeah, bring the agents going. here. Let's see the search warrant. We, we, we're searching. we want it now because we're gonna go. They will bring it up once you come to us. No, we're not coming to you. You are literally with that. It's less lethal. It's not that. Lethal. I don't give a fuck with less okay. lethal. Um, you don't know who has freaking heart conditions here. Second, where's the warrant? Well, I'm not gonna aim at your heart. I'm gonna aim at your legs or your lower portion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. The agents have a copy of the search warrant. They're not they're up here because they don't have armor to stand behind like that. Wait till there's nobody here, you ignorant ass. There's nobody else in the Why fucking the house. I didn't plan it that way. So here is an excellent example of what I'm talking about. Right, and I'm not merely just talking about aesthetics. Like, oh, look, they look like the military and that's the real problem. They just shouldn't look like the military. And if they didn't look like it, but they still did all the same stuff, well, then we wouldn't have a problem. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the fact that they want to and do look like the military is indicative of their philosophical positioning towards you as a private citizen. These guys are all dressed in multicam and got an MRAP, or what looks like an MRAP, some kind of armored vehicle, and uh, nods on in the middle of the daytime, because I don't, I don't know why you got them, they're company issued, you might as well put them on, right? 
And so they're all geared up and ready to go to do what exactly? Now look, I don't understand the whole context of this clip and, and maybe there's a good reason that they showed up there or whatever. I don't know, but here they are refusing to show a warrant for why they should be allowed to be there, right? Which is a legal thing that they have to do, demanding that you comply and do what they say, or they're gonna shoot you. Now the guy's saying, oh, it's less lethal. I'm gonna aim at your lower extremities, right? And he's got this little 40 millimeter grenade launcher there, which by the way, is a felony for you to have unless you go through all the special permitting blah, blah, blah process. But that's a restricted item. That's a destructive device that this police officer is threatening to shoot you with. Why is he threatening to shoot you? Oh, because you asked to see a warrant, right? So this, this is the problem. When we have police officers who think they're on a combat patrol, that's a problem. A police officer, right, the, the legal term in most states is peace officer, right? We call them peace officers. Why do we call them that? Because their job is to keep the peace, is to preserve the peace. And there's a lot of clips on the internet of police officers not preserving the peace, but escalating past the peace. Now you could ask yourself, well, you know, I mean, it's a tough job, there's lots of circumstances. And okay, I agree, there, there are some difficult times and difficult things that cops have to deal with. I'll be the first to admit that. However, when your mindset and what you've been trained to do is to be a paramilitary operator where your job is to go out and crush the bad guy and demand compliance and have them bend to your will, that's no longer peacekeeping, that's war fighting. Well, how do, how do you know that's war fighting, Dylan? If you read the Marine Manual, one dot, I think it's 1.1, war fighting, it talks about bending the enemy to your will. That's the purpose of fighting in combat, right? To bend the enemy to your will. Peacekeeping is not that and should not be that. And the fact, again, that we have confused those has led to a lot of issues within our country. For example, when the COVID thing hit and there were the lockdowns and the shutdowns, police officers were mindlessly arresting people for going to church, right? They were mindlessly enforcing edicts. Well, you got a restaurant here and you want to serve people food, uh, that's illegal. Well, why? Why is that illegal? Because I said it's illegal and I'm the police officer here to enforce it, right? So that is a severe problem. I just ran across this example, wanted to bring it to your attention because I think the more that you see it, the more that you realize we have a deep divide in this country. And not all, but one of the problems is the fact that we continue to train police officers like they're in the military. And that is a bad idea that's gonna lead very bad places. Do brave deeds and endure.